Hey what's up, in this video we are going to talk about the features of the brackets editor. The brackets is a very popular editor and it is mainly used for the web development purpose. Now in the brackets editor in the left we have the working area where we are going to have all of our files. And in the top we have the menu and in the right side we have the live preview button and the extension manager. Now first of all to create one project we have to open our project folder. So we have to click on the open folder and then we can select our project folder. And now inside the project folder we can create a new folder. So we have to right click and click on new folder and we can assign names to the folder similarly also we can create files so we have to right click and click on new file and we can create file like index.html so in the upper section all the working files will appear and in the lower section we have the project folder now we can simply use the exclamation and we can press the tab button and this way we can have the HTML boilerplate and this is because of the image extension and this way we can install so many other extensions from the extension manager so to open the extension manager we can click on file and then click on extension manager or we can directly open the extension manager from the right side by clicking on the extension manager from here we can search for any specific extension and we can install that into the brackets editor now there is another cool feature is that we can have the live preview of our web page. So if you just click on the live preview button then we can have the live preview of our HTML document. Like an example inside the body tag we can have the h1 tag and we can write hello world and you can see we have the live preview of our HTML file. And this is possible because of the live preview feature of the brackets editor. Now the brackets editor has the code folding feature. This way we can fold our code and also we can unfold that using the arrow. Now inside the edit tab we have all the general functions like undo, redo, cut, copy, paste and also we can use the shortcuts for that function. So like an example we can have the indent or unindent using the control closing bracket or the control opening bracket. Like an example, we have the code here, so we can use the shortcut control closing bracket for the indent and also we can unindent using the control opening bracket. And also we can use the shortcut control D and we can duplicate the portion of the code. Like an example, we can select the h1 tag and if I just press control D and you can see we have one duplicate of the h1 tag. And also we can use the control shift and up arrow to move the line up or we can use the control shift and down arrow to move one specific line down. Like an example we have the title tag. Now we can move up that line so we have to press control shift and up arrow. Similarly also we can press control shift and down arrow and this way we can move the line down. And also we can use the shortcut control and forward slash to comment on line. Like an example we can create one comment so we have to press ctrl and forward slash and this way and this way we have made that line as a comment. Similarly also we can toggle the block comment so we have to select one portion and we can use ctrl shift and forward slash to have the block comment. And we have also features to auto close the braces and also we can use the auto fix with the yes lint. And if we just scroll down we have the spell checking feature for different language and also we have the beautify extension we can check that option so whenever we save the file the beautify will automatically format our code and next we have the find tag we can use the shortcut control f and we can search for one specific tag from our code base and also we can use the shortcut control h and we can replace that h1 tag with the new tag h2. So if we just hit the replace all button, so all the h1 has been replaced by h2. And next we have the view tag. From here we can 
change the theme of our brackets editor so we have the drop down and from here we can select multiple available themes so if we choose the default one and then click on done so we have changed our theme of the brackets editor and also we can split the brackets working area so we have to go to view and then click on vertical split and we can split the brackets window vertically and also we can click on the horizontal split and we can split the brackets window horizontally where we can open two different files and work on them simultaneously for now I'm gonna use the no split and also we can hide the sidebar or we can toggle the panels and also we can increase the font size and we can use the shortcut ctrl plus plus or we can decrease the font size and we can use the shortcut ctrl minus minus like an example we can use the shortcut ctrl plus plus and we can increase the font size and also we can use ctrl minus minus to decrease the font size and to go back to the default font size we can use the ctrl zero and also we can use the option highlight active line this way the active line will be shown with that highlighter and also we can use the line numbers this way the line numbers will be shown in the left side and also we can use the option word wrap this way the contents will be wrapped inside the code editor and also we can use the collapse all this way the all of the code will be collapsed using the code folding and also we can expand them all so we have to click on expand all and the brackets editor has the cool feature where we can use the color picker and we can choose one color of our choice and the color picker will return us the hex code of that color so this way we don't have to memorize the hex code of all the colors and in the navigate tab we can quick open or go to one specific line or we can quick find the definition and also we can jump to the definition or we can use the shortcut ctrl e and we can quick edit the css like in example we can use the shortcut ctrl e and we can edit the css of our document and next in the debug tab we have the developer tools so we can show the developer tool we can reload with extension we can reload without extension or we can open one new bracket window or we can switch the language or also we can have all the performance data and next in the help tag we can check for the update of brackets and also we can check how to use brackets or we can click on about bracket and we can have details about the brackets editor so these are all the features of the brackets editor and also we can use the extension manager and we can download different available extensions and the extensions will help us use the brackets lot more efficiently and effectively so hope this video is helpful to you we'll see you in the next one thank you